I'm gonna say it's standing out when you're like going after the that girl, right? You you need to stand out against the competition against these other dudes. Good morning, Wagoners. Welcome to the vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Ryan Shank. This is our journey building phone wagon, bootstrap startup from the ground up, no outside funding. Hope you guys are out there working hard. Hope you're out there being pioneers, being wagoners. Welcome to the vlog. Yo, Cole calls dude. Uh, engineering background or product background, and I use that as a lens uh, to inform how I think about investing. So, like, I don't really care if I can make this well. I don't know, spreadsheet in the early days or not. I really care about talking to target market customers and grabbing about the net and shaking it. So, you know, understanding it's just the greatest thing. This is changing my life. And maybe sometimes I'm the product target market for products. And I can use my own lens, which is great and convenient. Um, uh, but for the most part, that's not true. Products that target VCs as customers are, are pretty rare in really small markets. And so my mind between a pivot and a move violation. Now move violation can be good too. Um, like for example, you know, Odeo becoming Twitter or something. It's just so different. I'm not sure you can really say that the mission of those two companies are the same. They both came out of that movement's brain held back, but but outside of that, there's really very little commonality. But like the original Slack was a game. Your characterization of the pivot sounds like exactly the right thing. So Tate already got demoed, right? Yeah, I mean, so. Hey Tate, this is Ryan Shank over at Phone Wagon. I had a note on my calendar to follow up with you today. I want to see if I can answer any questions that you have. One, I want quality people, so I'm being really picky. And the other thing is, you know, I need people like now. You guys aren't out. Get on the wagon. You guys aren't out of the woods yet. I will be back. I'm out. Where are you going, Nick? Going back to Delaware. Oh, shit. You're basically right. probably driving traffic to your website, right? right. And then, you're, however you're driving it there, you're paying money to drive the traffic there. And once they land on the site, they submit a form. Well, I guess what I could do is the marketing companies we pay to get inbound leads, I can introduce you to them. Yeah, that'd be great. That's what you guys want, right? It's like yeah, because yeah. I'm like, what the hell these guys want? I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's small. Huh? Smallish company. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been around three and a half years. Hey. We just pivoted to a wellness company like eight hey, months ago. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll see you. We'll catch up. Okay, cool. cool. All right. See you. Hey, what's up, Jim? Just a couple things. So, uh, All right, that was pretty good. So we just got off the phone with an SDR candidate. I actually really, really liked him. Um, he has a lot of SDR experience. The only thing is he's remote, but I think I can be cool with him working remote. We just need SDRs right now because we like we need to like set more demos and get John, you know, doing like 80 to 100 demos a month. All right, guys, what I want to talk about today is standing out. This could be standing out in a crowded market, in a crowded, uh, you know, competitive landscape, just standing out in general. Even if you're like, honestly, I'm going to say it's standing out when you're like going after the, that girl, right? You, you need to stand out against the competition against these other dudes. And you got to do things that are thoughtful. And you can, and, and I'm actually going to make this analogy. You might think right now it's kind of weird, but it really applies um, from your personal life and it also applies into business. So if stick out in a crowded market and you're going to want to do things that are are creative, that go above and beyond your competitors so that you are, you know, are top of mind, they're wowed by you. That's the whole point is like stick out in a crowded market. Again, if you're like trying to get the girl and you're just competing against, you know, all these other dudes or whatever, you're going to want to maybe like go to is like send flowers because it's like you get that person on touch. But if you can think of something even more creative, if you like, you know, create a custom song and you then create a music video and like the lyrics of the song, like incorporate things from her past and then you do this like crazy music video and you get it out. No, it's Nick and you can like win girl deals that way you know who knows you know so there's just gonna be things that you, you're gonna want to do to stick out in business is like how we're gonna apply this but it can also work in personal life as well so like do whatever it takes to win and that's what we're doing so appreciate you joining us I'll see you guys tomorrow
Oh wait, one more thing. So I didn't update you guys on how the day went. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it this way. I need to get a haircut, by the way. It is end of the day. I'm gonna show you guys the time, just so you know. I know you're curious. 7.39 p.m. Friday, July 28th. We just closed out the day. By the way, we either had our biggest day in history or we had like second biggest day in history. We've been going outbound. We've been setting demos. Now we've been doing the demos and we did probably like five or six today. We have a lot of huge deals uh, that are gonna close. I had a guy randomly, I wasn't even expecting this. He's currently paying, or he was paying $250 a month. He just upgraded today to $650 a month. So randomly out of nowhere, we got $400 a month in expansion revenue, huge. Uh, which was awesome. Then uh, we had, what did we, I think we just had one other sale, but then it was, it was a $225 sale that we took from one of our competitors. They were paying like 400 something uh, with the competitor. They're gonna pour in all their numbers into us. So that was like a sale that came at 5.30 today. Um, the fact that you have to like go above and beyond in order to win business. But at the end of the day, we had a great day today. We had a fireside chat with you guys saw the partner at Spark Capital, which is a pretty good VC firm. Worked out today, had a ton of demos today. I ate at this really cool place called Dig in if you guys should check it out it's lit Kane is actually just ate ooh, ooh, that place that's a free plug dig in that is a free plug because we like you next time it's gonna be free as well we're not monetizing this content we're just Every delivering and I come delivering England is my city that was cool Kane's gonna do an edit to that uh, just delivering some uh, some good content I forget where we're going uh, it's Friday night I hope you guys have a Great night. If you're new here, my name's Ryan Shank. This is our journey building phone wagon from the ground up. We're bootstrapped, no outside funding. We're going through tech stars in New York City. We do this every single day. We vlog seven days a week. We don't miss a single day. And I hope you guys are out there working hard, being pioneers, being wagoneers. Peace.